Have you ever wondered why Warren Buffett, one of the most successful investors of all time, thinks Bitcoin will go to zero? A thought-provoking question indeed, as it delves into the intricate investment philosophy of the Oracle of Omaha. Warren Buffett, a name synonymous with investing, has a philosophy that is as simple as it is profound. He focuses on long-term investments in companies with intrinsic value. But what exactly is intrinsic value? It's the actual value of a company or stock based on an underlying perception of its true value. This includes all aspects of the business, in terms of both tangible and intangible factors. Buffett often describes it as the discounted value of the cash that can be taken out of a business during its remaining life. His philosophy is not about quick wins or short-term trades. Instead, it's about holding on to investments for decades, allowing compounding to work its magic. He invests in businesses he understands and believes have stable or predictable characteristics. This approach is also known as value investing, a strategy of picking stocks that appear to be trading for less than their book value or intrinsic value. For Warren Buffett, the book value is only a rough estimate of intrinsic value. He looks beyond the numbers at the qualitative aspects of a company such as the quality of management, the competitive advantage, and the market dynamics. Buffett's philosophy is about investing in a business, not just buying a stock. He once said, it's far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than a fair company at a wonderful price. This underscores his focus on the quality of a business and its ability to generate cash flow over the long term. This philosophy has served Buffett well over the decades, turning him into one of the world's wealthiest individuals. His company Berkshire Hathaway has consistently outperformed the market, proving the effectiveness of his investment approach. So Warren Buffett's investment philosophy is all about long-term gains and intrinsic value. But how does Bitcoin fit into this picture? Let's delve into that in our next segment. Warren Buffett has been quite vocal about his views on Bitcoin. But what exactly does he believe? Let's break it down. Buffett's stance on Bitcoin is quite clear. He sees it as a financial instrument devoid of intrinsic value. Intrinsic value, for those uninitiated, is the perceived value of an asset based on fundamental analysis without any external influence. Buffett believes that Bitcoin fails to meet this criterion. To him, it's like a ticket in a lottery where the only way to make money is to sell it to someone else at a higher price. But the Oracle of Omaha doesn't stop there. He further likens investing in Bitcoin to gambling. He emphasizes that the cryptocurrency world is akin to a casino, where positioning oneself on the right side of the table is crucial. The unpredictability and volatility of Bitcoin make it more of a gamble than a traditional investment in Buffett's eyes. Now you might be thinking, does Buffett completely dismiss the idea of digital currencies? Well, not exactly. Despite his aversion to Bitcoin, Buffett recognizes the potential of the underlying blockchain technology. He appreciates the efficiency it brings to transactions, but for him, the value lies in the technology, not in the Bitcoin itself. Buffett's views also stem from his belief in investments that produce over time. He often places Bitcoin and gold in the same category of non-productive assets. These are assets whose value doesn't come from their ability to generate returns, but from the desire of others to acquire them. Buffett, known for his value investing approach, prefers investments that yield tangible returns over time. As we can see, Buffett's Criticisms of Bitcoin stem from his belief in intrinsic value and long-term investment, concepts that he believes Bitcoin does not align with. Despite the roaring popularity and acceptance of Bitcoin, Buffett remains skeptical. His investment philosophy honed over decades doesn't see a place for Bitcoin, at least for now. But as always, the world of finance is fluid and only time will tell what the future holds for Bitcoin. Despite his criticisms of Bitcoin, Buffett made a surprising move in 2021 when he invested in Nubank, a company heavily involved in the crypto sector. Let's take a moment to dive into that. Nubank, a Brazilian fintech bank, has been making waves in the world of finance. It has been actively embracing cryptocurrency, which seems to be at odds with Buffett's well-known disdain for Bitcoin. However, in a move that raised many eyebrows, Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway, 
invested a whopping $750 million in Nubank in 2021. Now let's pause here. You might be thinking, isn't this a contradiction? Well, not exactly. This investment illustrates Buffett's willingness to engage with the crypto sector, albeit indirectly. It shows that, despite his reservations about Bitcoin, he acknowledges the potential that lies in the broader crypto industry. But the story doesn't end there. By 2023, this investment had grown to exceed a billion dollars, marking a phenomenal performance of 121%. This is a testament to Buffett's investment acumen and his ability to spot potential winners, even in sectors he personally has reservations about. This move also serves to highlight a crucial aspect of Buffett's investment philosophy. While he may not be a fan of Bitcoin, he appreciates the importance of staying open to new investment opportunities. Buffett's investment in Nubank shows his capacity to adapt and his willingness to invest in a company heavily involved in the crypto sector, even if he isn't buying Bitcoin himself. Moreover, it underscores his belief in the value of diversification. By investing in Nubank, he has effectively diversified his portfolio to include exposure to the burgeoning fintech and crypto sectors, thereby mitigating potential risks and creating avenues for growth. So, while Buffett may not be a fan of Bitcoin, he's not entirely closed off to the world of crypto. And that's something all investors can learn from. It's not about blindly following trends or sticking to old ways, but about understanding the landscape, recognizing opportunities and making informed decisions. That, my friends, is the Buffett way. What can beginner investors learn from Warren Buffett's investment philosophy and his views on Bitcoin? Buffett's wisdom extends far beyond his aversion to Bitcoin. His investment philosophy, rooted in understanding intrinsic value and long-term investment, is a guiding beacon for investors worldwide. Buffett often emphasizes the importance of comprehending an investment's underlying value rather than getting swayed by its current market value. This principle holds true for all assets, whether they're stocks, bonds, or even cryptocurrencies. Buffett's approach to investment is like a game of chess. He doesn't just look at the position of the pieces on the board, he strategizes, focusing on the end game. He studies the fundamental value of a company, its competitive advantages, and its potential to generate cash flow over time. This long-term perspective allows him to make informed decisions irrespective of the market's volatility. In the case of Bitcoin, Buffett's skepticism stems from its lack of intrinsic value. Unlike a business that can produce goods or services, Bitcoin can't generate anything over time. Its value is purely speculative, dependent on someone else willing to pay a higher price for it. According to Buffett, this characteristic makes Bitcoin more akin to gambling than investing. However, this does not mean that Buffett entirely shuns the digital world. His investment in Nubank, a fintech company active in the cryptocurrency sector, is a testament to this. Despite his reservations, Buffett recognized the potential in a company that was innovating in the financial industry and made a successful investment. This brings us to another crucial aspect of Buffett's investment philosophy. Diversification. While Buffett is a firm believer in understanding and investing in what you know, he also recognizes the importance of diversification in managing risk. Investing in a variety of assets can help cushion against losses and increase the chances of earning a return. As we've seen, Warren Buffett's investment philosophy offers valuable lessons for any investor, regardless of their views on Bitcoin. So, Will Bitcoin really go to zero, as Warren Buffett suggests? Well, that's a question that has sparked many debates. But let's revisit what we've learned from Buffett's viewpoints and investment strategies. Firstly, Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha, has a unique approach to investing. He places a strong emphasis on intrinsic value, looking for assets that generate something over time. He's not a fan of speculative investments, which he likens to gambling. Bitcoin, in his view, falls into this category. A non-productive asset, much like gold, whose value is based on the desire of others to acquire it. He's often said that Bitcoin lacks intrinsic value, and hence, he wouldn't buy it. The only way to profit from it, according to him, would be to sell it to someone else at a higher price. That's not investing, that's speculation, or as he would say, gambling. But here's the interesting bit. 
Despite his aversion to Bitcoin, Buffett has shown that he's not entirely against the crypto sector. His investment in Nubank, a Brazilian fintech bank active in the crypto arena, is proof. He took a leap of faith in the year 2021 and by 2023, his investment surpassed a billion dollars, recording a staggering 121% performance. So what's the takeaway here? Well, it's not about agreeing or disagreeing with Buffett's views on Bitcoin. It's about understanding different investment philosophies and strategies. Buffett's approach might not be suitable for everyone, especially for those who believe in the potential of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, but his emphasis on intrinsic value, his skepticism towards speculative assets, and his willingness to invest in the crypto sector, albeit indirectly, all offer valuable insights. The key is to learn from these insights and apply them to your own investment journey. Evaluating an asset's potential to generate value over time, being aware of the risks of speculative investments, and keeping an open mind towards new investment classes can all contribute to a more informed and diversified portfolio. Whether you agree with Buffett's views on Bitcoin or not, understanding his investment philosophy can provide valuable insights for your own investment journey.